Easter is the time of year we all think about cute fluffy bunnies and pretty pastel eggs, but I thought how about we all just put the chocolate down a minute and consider some of the world's weirder and wackier eggs, because they're not all that, well, eggy. Here are some of my favourite examples. Sorry. Around 40% of sharks, rays and skates lay eggs rather than give birth to live young, and their egg cases tend to be squarish about the size of my hand with stringy or pointy corner horns, and it's this pouch-like shape with their leather texture that's given them the name mermaid's purses. However, a few sharks, such as the Port Jackson shark and the Californian horn shark, lay corkscrew-like egg cases. The helical package forms around a fertilised egg inside the mother, in an organ called the oviducal gland. It seems the egg case's spiral ridges enable it to drill into the sand and get wedged between rocky crevices, so it's less likely to get disturbed by predators or currents. The pentatomidae are a super family of insects, better known as stink bugs and they get their name because of the foul-smelling substance that secretes from pores in their thorax when they're handled, disturbed or squished. They lay their eggs in groups in neatly arranged rows on stems or the underside of leaves, but there are a huge variety of stink bugs and each of their eggs is unique. Like these happy green smiley faces, these are actually the eggs of green stink bugs. Anyone else think these brown marmorated stink bug eggs look like stormtroopers? And these might look like humbug sweets, but they're actually harlequin bugs. And look how beautiful these predatory shield bug eggs are. According to research, the predatory female shield bug is able to change the colour of her eggs by adding an extra bit of dark pigment, and this all depends on how much light is reflecting off a surface. Now, because of this pigment's ability to absorb UV light, it's thought she does this to act as a sunscreen to protect the DNA of the developing bug inside. These bizarre, wormy-looking Sicilians are actually 250 million years old, but they've been really difficult to study because they mostly live underground. However, in 2012, a new family of Sicilians were identified and named Chicolidae. Such a great word. And they have highly specialised reproductive behaviour, laying the most incredible, transparent, almost marble-like eggs. The mother builds an underground nest and she guards her egg clutch for two to three months until they hatch. But the young undergo direct development, which means they feed on the reserves inside the yolk so that when they hatch they're already independent mini-adults. Which is good for the chickalidae because the young of some species of Sicilian, once they're born, have to eat their mother's skin to fatten up. True story. After mating, the female lays around 40 eggs and the male Darwin's frog fertilises them. He then stands guard, watching them closely until he sees some movement. And at this point, he laps the eggs into his mouth and guides them down into his vocal sac with his tongue. He keeps the eggs inside his vocal sac as they develop into tadpoles and eventually into froglets. And this often gives them the appearance of having things swimming around inside them. Because there are things swimming inside them. <laughs> Finally, after as much as 50 days later, the fully developed froglets quite literally hop out of their dad's mouth. Darwin's frog isn't the only froggy-like amphibian to practice weird breeding behaviour. The eggs of a Suriname toad kind of get under their mum's skin. No, like really, they, they actually get under her skin. The breeding process is fascinating, and it starts with the male jumping onto the female's back and holding on tight because the pair are about to perform some serious acrobatics. The male and female somersault in the water, and whilst they loop the looping, she releases a few eggs at a time. And whilst some might be lost, he does his best juggling act to catch them and then massage them into the female's warty back. She can release up to 100 eggs, and this somersaulting coitus can last up to 12 hours. Excellent stamina. Over the next few days, the eggs slowly sink into the holes and a membrane grows over the top to protect the developing offspring that are metamorphosizing inside her. Fast forward four months and the eggs are ready to hatch. The mother starts to shed her skin and you begin to see little snouts, arms and legs punch their way through the openings. 
it's not long until up to 100 fully formed toadlets squeeze out of the skin on her back and swim away into the water. So there you have some of my favourite weird and slightly wackier eggs, plus the often unusual breeding behaviours that happen around them. But if you know of any other bizarre eggs, then let me know in the comments. Subscribe, stay curious, and I'll see you soon. Bye!